Catherine's house and Rita's house are homes for homeless women who are in recovery from drugs and alcohol. Each house can have six women. They each have their own bedroom, but they share every other space of the house. They divide up the chores daily in the house, and they also divide up the yard work. They can stay at our house for two years. Once they're in the house, they will meet with the case manager weekly, and they start working on things like housing and education and employment. They start working on those things right away. The ladies who enter the houses, whether it's Catherine's house or Rita's house, they come to us from a variety of places. Every um, plan for every woman is different because the journey that brought them here is all very different and the journey that they take when they leave us is very different. Catherine's house, which is located in Kent near Holy Spirit Church and the, and the police department, that house has been in existence since 2001. And it was so successful that when the opportunity came to have another house, so Rita's house started in 2009. We have had ladies who have lived here who have been as young as 18 years old and a senior in high school. Um, up to age 62. So that's the wide variety of ladies we can get. The ladies learn to live in community. We have weekly house meetings where we talk about how, we, how we're doing. We check in with each other. And we also talk about activities that we can do together. During the holidays, we really try to do that even more because just establishing uh, new memories around holidays are really important for these women. We have garden beds at both of our houses and it is always entertaining to me um, because at the beginning of every gardening season the residents always tell me that they do not get their hands dirty and they do not garden. And by the end of the summer they're showing me salad bowls full of things that they have harvested and grown. And I think that that kind of lesson carries on with the women. The two important things for us working with these women is that they leave us to a permanent house and they have their recovery intact. They really work hard at getting their life back on track.